mourners march to commemorate one of the history's worst man-made disasters. 20 years ago today, a reactor exploded at the Chernobyl nuclear plant. 56 people were killed. Another 9,300 are expected to die from cancers caused by the huge radiation release. 300,000 people were permanently evacuated from the area. 20 years later, Chernobyl remains a very dangerous place, and yet some people have insisted on returning. ABC's David Wright reports tonight from the dead zone. Nikolai Luchinsky's childhood home is now a toxic waste site. Home sweet home. He brought us back to the apartment he left when he was six years old. His family left in a rush. <laughs> On the windowsill, syringes still full of medicine, antidotes for radiation poisoning. It's strange to be here, he says. The entire city is now a ghost town. Less than a mile away, the unthinkable happened. The fire in Chernobyl's reactor number four was more radioactive than Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined, potentially deadly even today. Reactor number four is essentially inside a concrete overcoat built immediately after the accident to contain the fallout. But after 20 years, there are cracks and holes and the whole thing is just about ready to collapse. If I switch on this Geiger counter, the readings are off the charts. So contaminated that workers shoring up the holes can only risk 15-minute shifts. This entire region has seen a surge in cancer cases and birth defects, especially among the children of Chernobyl and their children. 25-year-old Tamara, school teacher and mother, just diagnosed with thyroid cancer. A terrible thing. Yes. And so many people also in the same situation as you. Yes, she sighs, but that doesn't make my pain any less. Scientists say it's difficult to tell which cancers are linked to Chernobyl. Some local authorities have their own ideas how best to keep safe. Vodka is very good protection. 80-year-old Maria Oropova would agree with that. Four days after the accident, she moved back to her village inside what's now called the dead zone. She doesn't worry about radiation. In this wasteland, her animals are all the company she needs. David Wright, ABC News, Chernobyl.